All right, I got most of my parts shipped in. I'm just kind of inventorying everything. Um, I had them delivered to this location here. I just flew in today to start working on this thing for the next few days, but uh, inventorying some items. I've got a couple boxes here. These should be the inverters from uh, Signature Solar, the EG4 6500 EXs. There's two of them. I bought the bundle kit, so there's two inverters. Uh, with the kit, I just opened this up. It, it comes with the one uh, aught two black, two red, pretty, pretty sturdy cables, pretty good. It also came with the two PV disconnects and the two battery disconnects. I also have some disconnects for each individual battery pack I'm going to build. I've got uh, four large boxes from 18650 battery. Those are the EVE uh, LF280K batteries. And these are 105 amp hour cells. There's four boxes of those. So 16 and 16 for two separate 48 battery volt battery packs. Got in a lot of little tools, crimpers and uh, hydraulic lug crimpers. A lot of connectors, uh, amp, and there's some battery disconnects. Now uh, these are the JBD BMSs. We'll take a look at those. I also got the 10 gauge, 100 foot black and red. Black and red, this came from Windy Nation. This also came from Windy Nation. This is the 2 aught. I had also ordered 4 aught, and I don't know where that's at. I'm going to use butyl tape. This butyl tape here to try to make the solar panels waterproof. I'm building a solar array that's used as a carport, and I'm using the panels as the roof. And then I've got a lot of little miscellaneous stuff here. MC4 connectors, Y branch connectors. Meters, clamp meters, strippers, variable Newton meter, torque wrench, uh, some more connectors. And let's take a look at the JBD BMS. So this came from JBD's website, direct from JBD's website. The wiring harnesses for the BMS. This is how it came packed. I'm going to build two separate battery packs. Looks like I got everything here. It's going to be a long, long work week. All right, this is 7:45 a.m. This is what the irradiance looks like in this area. There would be a corner there, a corner right about there, another corner up there and one here living in the carport area as opposed to a ground mount further out in the yard was a bit of a trade-off i would have got more sun earlier from a ground mount in a different position but i really wanted a covered area for our carport anyway and it just seemed to make more sense to build them both into one and have a larger amount of panels to make up for the difference now there's quite a bit of shading right here but if you go up the height that this is going to be it's going to be close to full sunlight however there's shading there from tree this tree you got to come out i wanted to take the tree out anyway because it's leaning towards the house it's something i i know i've got to have to deal with anyway so that tree's got to come out by about eight o'clock in the morning i should have full clearance of those trees winter time the sun will be lower it would be over here I, I really want to have the covered area out here so it's a little bit of a trade-off but 8 to 8 15 or so this whole area will be fully lit now as the sun tracks it's going to track this way and it's going to eventually come to this point here where these palm trees are going to create shading also but I think I should have enough sunlight to with the, the amount of solar panels I have to 
fully charge this system within about three four hours so I think I've got plenty of space here and I I don't ever foresee myself really running the solar down to zero or you know 20% carport slash solar rack uh, halfway gotta pick up the panels tomorrow 12 feet 8 feet day 2 was mostly heavy rains we were only able to get up the rafters and complete the 45 degree bracing due to the weather we just weren't up to filming that day the timing wasn't too bad because our solar panels arrived at the shipping dock and we went down to pick them up. Day three started out promising with morning sunshine, but you could see the clouds moving up the side of the mountain and you can tell that the rains were about to hit. All right, here's a closer look at the carport slash solar structure and uh, the materials used on it. So we used the uh, base piers, 160 pound piers, four by six, posts coming up we're using uh, two by tens sandwiched as a beam running all the way down and we're using the four by sixes as the angled supports and the trusses going across up on the top here are two by eights and three of them are sandwiched as beams there's one here one in the center beam and one on the end um, we are bolting them in one half inch by eight inch long bolts so there's bolts in many of these things um, besides just nailed or screwed it's bolted together also so this end is eight feet on the left here and then it rises up to a peak of about 12 feet and puts it at about a, a solar panel array at about a 15 degree angle uh, which is just about what i need here this uh i'll take a quick look at the sun here but this solar array will be in full sun at about 8 15 or so in the morning we are using 240 watt used panels uh, it's completely off grid here uh, these are the santan solar panels that were on sale i bought a pallet of 26 of them they were a thousand dollars and of course they're shipping on top of that depending on where you're at our location shipping is expensive but they are 65 inches tall by 39 inches wide. And this one panel is uh, producing full power. So that's good. Uh, this is the specs on the panel here. Take a look at that. So the amps and watts it was put or amps i'm sorry amps and volts that it was putting out uh, was full power basically um, but it's cloudy here often it rains a lot uh, so we're going to start putting up some purlins and put up some panels by mid-morning it started to rain and by midday and afternoon the rains turned into heavy rainfall and really put us even further behind schedule Okay, pack, put both of them. Go ahead and put the second. Yeah. One. Just to butt it up. Yeah.
it pretty much wrapped up our trip. It's unfortunate we lost so much time, but we'll be back the next time around and get it done then. See you next time.